Hey everybody, Logan here. Yeah, we're, we're just never going to report on any good news for Xbox ever again because they don't want to. It's like every day you look at the news and Microsoft is doing something that people are just going, why? And today is, is no different. And for someone who used to be a major Xbox fanboy, yes, yeah, seriously, I, I, I really don't get it. I thought this was, isn't this Microsoft? One of the biggest companies in the world? And yet they still haven't figured out how to run the Xbox brand correctly and competitively since the Xbox 360. It boggles my mind. The 360 was such a massive success. You would think they would ride the heels on that and just keep going, but they haven't. It feels like even when I worked for the company, I noticed that it seemed like they were doing this, but it feels like they're just throwing whatever they can at the wall and seeing what sticks. And it seems like a long running thing. And this is just kind of sad. With that being said, what it looks like is, well, they're pulling out of Europe. Maybe. We know where they're pulling out of Europe marketing wise. Does that mean they're pulling all the consoles out? That's speculation, but let's get into this article. So here we go. This article comes from a website I'm not too familiar with. It's called the FPS Review. There were a couple of other uh, articles out there, but some of the websites just had far too many ads for me to show. It was rather infuriating. But let's, uh, let's read on this one. This one says Microsoft will no longer market Xbox consoles in Europe and other regions. It's claimed. It's it's weird because before we get into it, uh, before I read anything, they just announced three new variations of the current Xbox Series X and S consoles. Yeah. Do they not want to sell them? Oh, maybe only in the States. Well, let, let's keep reading. The Xbox Series, a fourth generation of Xbox consoles that Microsoft launched in 2020, including what is said to be the world's most powerful video game console ever, the Xbox Series X, will be more difficult to find in some regions in the months ahead, according to a new report that echoes a claim from a tipster about how Microsoft will stop marketing consoles in the EMEA, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa regions, and instead turn its focus there on other aspects of the Xbox business, including cloud gaming, peripherals, and Game Pass. The rumor arrives on the heels of new sales estimates for May 2024 that show Xbox Series XS in third place with 131,095 units sold, bringing its lifetime sales to 17.36 million units. Alrighty, that's really low. May 2024 console sales followed by lifetime sales. PlayStation 5, 289,885, 24 million. Nintendo Switch, 136,494, 53 million. Xbox Series XS, 131,095, 17 million. PlayStation 4, 918, 41 million but it looks like we're in the midpoint of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS lifetime. Yes, the Xbox Series S, 131,000 compared to 289,000. That's not even, that's, that's more than double. That's more than double. It's, do people just not want it or they don't need it? You can play all these Xbox games on your PC, on your mobile phone, on your portable PC console, whatever you want to call those things, the handhelds the uh, Asus ROG Ally and uh, Lenovo Legion and so on. So if that's the case, th does Microsoft just hate money? <sighs> From the report, Microsoft n navigates a new financial year, which began in July. A new financial year means new goals and potentially some strategy shifts. Quote, I haven't been able to fully verify this, but the tipster claim Microsoft will stop marketing Xbox consoles in certain markets in EMEA and focus only on Game Pass, cloud gaming, PC, and Xbox controllers, end quote. 
Another quote here, well, they're, they're all quotes here. So Microsoft has been struggling to sell Xbox Series SX consoles in many countries across EMEA. And the tipster believes Microsoft will now allocate less console stock to Europe as a result. A few weeks after I received this tip, Xbox tweeted, no console, no problem, in a post on X about a new Xbox app for Fire Sticks. So yeah, that's I, I, I reported on that people hated me for saying hey microsoft doesn't want to make money they don't want to sell and they're defending microsoft stop selling xboxes and microsoft increasing prices i just i don't get it it's like fanboys are a disease these are major companies that don't care about you and it's just a company trying to make money that's it stop going to bat for them say okay this is a bad idea or okay you know what they're pivoting here. They're not trying to sell consoles. They just want to sell you a service. Just be honest. Be straightforward. It's not hurting anybody. It's not hurting you. What, maybe your pride or maybe because you chose a console that isn't working out or something like that? There's no reason to do that. But this shows that Microsoft may not be that faithful or have that much faith in general in their hardware over in Europe. With that being said, what do you guys think about that? For my European audience, do you guys care? Or what have you seen? Or does it even matter at all? Or what have you not seen? Because I have read in other articles that marketing is almost nothing over there as it is. So, I don't know. When I was uh, over in the UK earlier this year, I saw a lot of PlayStation and Switch stuff, but I don't think I ever saw an ad for or anything advertising xbox stuff uh but i was also in london which was i passed the playstation headquarters which r.i.p is apparently gone from my understanding now i was actually talking to uh one of the bartenders at uh, a pub down the street from there and he was telling me some horror stories about uh the day they got the news that was rough, but uh, it, it, it was interesting nonetheless to, to be right down the street and drive right past it and go, Hey, the fact that they're doing this, Microsoft is doing this, what does this mean? Is this spelling the end? I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't think it's going to go the way a lot of the fanboys are hoping. Uh, this might be just spelling the, the end of the Xbox as a console and maybe just a service. But hey, if that's what it is, if Microsoft says, hey, we're gonna be more profitable by pivoting to a service-based game platform, then so be it. It might, uh, it, it might allow their content to be offered to many more gamers, if that's the case. Uh, if this was about five or six years ago, I'd be pretty angry and rather upset and be on the opposite side, but now I'm looking at it from more of a clear-headed point of view that Hey, if this is the way the industry goes, then so be it. If we don't get any new hardware, so be it. Um, still have PC, Xbox is Microsoft, and Microsoft has always been PC first and foremost. And then, hey, we've got the Switch 2 coming out and possibly a PlayStation 5 Pro, and we know a PlayStation 6. But if anything is to be uh, believed, Microsoft said they are supporting a next generation of hardware. And if they are, we know we're going to get it in the States, Europe, Sorry, you may not be getting it. I guess only time will tell. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Make sure you tune in to Ready to Start Podcast right here on Red Bandana Gaming every Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's such a great time. We just had episode number 47, my 10,000 subscriber special celebration episode. It was fun. We, we just kind of rambled on quite a bit about uh, whatever was going on and just stuff that we wanted to. It was fun. But make sure you join us uh, every Thursday night from here on out. You will have fun too. Thank you guys. God bless you all. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.